guys. I just wanted to share another Thanksgiving tip with you. Um, I've got some potatoes going in here. So you're making mashed potatoes and you're making them from whole potatoes. Um, it takes a lot of time to peel all of those potatoes, even if you get people to help you. Um, and it's not always the funnest thing to do. So I've got a trick for you. Um, my potatoes are in here boiling. You boil them for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of potatoes you have. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to prick it to make sure that it's done. And if it slides out and slides right back into the bowl, just like this, then you know it's done. So what I'm going to do is my timer is going off right now. I have a bowl of really cold water I just pulled out of the fridge. I don't have any ice. If I had ice, I would use the ice. I'm going to turn the stove off. You're going to take these and you're going to put it into the cold water. This stops it from cooking and being quite so hot. So you've got your potatoes, pills and all, in the ice cold water cooling down. So what you do is you're going to take, now that they're cooked, and you're going to start peeling. And see how the peel comes off really nice? Just the skin, no potato. And you're going to do that with both of them, or however many you cooked. Sometimes I'll put it back under the water if it gets too hot. If you have any little imperfections, you can just take your little nail under there and pull that off. Do the same thing with the next one. See how easy this comes off? Much easier than peeling. And it saves so much time. Woo! That's a little slippery! Be careful, they can be slippery. Um, Save so much time on Thanksgiving Day when you're making your mashed potatoes. Got a plate of the potatoes while I go ahead and dump out the water. And then just kind of roughly chop it a little bit. If they're not as hot as you'd like them because you had them in the cold water, pop them into the microwave for a minute or so. So I got them roughly chopped. Because I had them in the cold water, I'm going to pop them into the microwave for one minute. Quickly wash up my hands. Always want to have clean hands when you're cooking. Now I'm going to grab the things I need to mash them. You can do one of two things. You can do your potato masher or you can do your mixer. Today I'm going to do the potato masher. I'm going to use some butter or margarine and some milk whether it be almond milk cow's milk whatever milk you like Pop these out. Use my plate to cut the butter. Put as much or as little butter as you like in it. 
can always add, but you can't take away. And you're going to start mashing. This is a great time to season with salt and pepper or however you like them. Maybe you like them ranch flavored. And if you want them creamier, you can add sour cream in this step. As my husband said, you can add sour cream, however you like them. You can add cream cheese. I'm going to add some ranch powder to mine. I have my homemade ranch seasoning mix here. I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny bit in. And then you just keep mashing until all your potatoes are the consistency and the creaminess that you like. I hope this was a helpful tip for all of you guys and that it helps you on Thanksgiving Day to cut down on the amount of work you have. Have a good and happy day.